Hey guys, we're back again. I just wanted to show you a couple quick things on what we're going to do as far as wiring goes. Uh, if you notice, I have a power plug plugged in to here, plugged into the outlet. That's because we want to test to see what the positive and negative is. I have a little uh, voltometer right here, or multimeter, um, and we're going we're gonna to check the volts out of it. We want 12 volts. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your negative, you're going to touch it somewhere, to one of these three ends and you're going to take your positive so I'm going to put my negative right here um, and my positive right here and if you read it see it says 12 volts actually you can't see that now it says 12 volts now if you put it on the other one see it says nothing so it reads nothing it reads 12 if it were to read negative 12 volts, that just means you have your negative and positive switched around, just switch them around. Um, you do want to read it first because there are certain um, boards that, amp boards that if you do get it switched up, they will, um, they, it could ruin them. Most of them have circuitry tried in them so that it won't mess anything up, but uh, still, just in case. Now, if you forgot, on the speakers, negative is always a smaller one, positive is the bigger one. So make sure, you know, when you're wiring them up, negative, positive. And finally on the board, I did solder on uh, these, which are where the input is going to be. That's for the, uh, what's going to be the uh, 3.5 millimeter input. Um, I may or may not use them. I may desolder them, but for the time being, I wanted to solder them on so that I could utilize them in uh the thing that I'm, so I could be, utilize it sooner. Um, I may switch out this board, and so that's kind of why I'm thinking that I'll do that. Um, if so, I'll show you how I wired that. And um, that's it for now. So uh, here in a second, I'll mount the board, and I will show you what everything looks like inside. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you that I ran, that's the 3.5 millimeter jack. See, I ran the black to the black, the yellow to the white, and the red to the red. And I just ran some hot glue down there. And I'm going to run it underneath so no one really sees it. It'll help keep it uh, nice and neat and keep this out of any obstructions from any of the speakers. Uh, next, I'm going to hook this up. And then I'll hook up the two power cables. And um, then I'll Alright, guys, I did a little bit more. You can see I ran both the positives, like I said, too. And those positives are coming from, of course, where the power in is coming into, right? So that's your normal jack that's going to be on the outside of the box. You have your positive and negative coming out, and then the power that comes out from the box, those are just two small ones. You can't really see it because it's hidden behind here, but see they're coming out that hole. And they're both being plugged into the board. So once we run power from here, everything will get power and once again red goes into VC and ground goes into ground, black goes into ground and so I also ran uh, the amplifier side if you see uh, the red went into channel 1 the yellow went into channel 2 and you can see the black wire went into this first one which I soldered it to uh, this actual small cable and that small cables jumping it from one side to the other and that's so that both sides get the negative uh, they do both need the ground and so you, you need them to both have that um, now I just have to hook up the speakers and the baffle step correctors and we're good to go and so I'm gonna put one in each corner baffle step corrector and we'll show you what that looks like hooked up. Hey guys I'm back just wanted to show you what we're getting ready to do we are getting ready to put the uh, front cover on, and you can see I ran uh, wood glue pretty much all around this edge on here and this edge down here. And we are going to go ahead and put the faceplate on and smash it into place. I'm not going to show you all that because I got some, uh, it's too hard to do, and I want to do it before everything dries. So, I mean, I'm getting ready to do that. I'm going to connect the wires and put the wood glue on. So. Alright guys, I wanted to flip this over just to show you. Um, it can get kind of confusing. Remember, these are the power cables here. These are the cables going in to the amplifier. The only other cables we hooked up right now are positive and negatives. Now, it gets confusing, so I'm going to trace it out for you. This positive comes from the speaker. 
and I'll have to trim that down or, or glue it and it goes to the baffle step corrector one side doesn't matter what side either side and then comes out of the baffle step corrector all the way down and into the amplifier and that's in channel one and the negative just goes all the way around and into the amplifier okay so it doesn't go anywhere else so those two wires are out same with this side this side the negative goes all the way down into the amplifier and the positive if you trace it goes into the baffle step corrector like we said and out of that into there the other cables you see are the aux in and the um, power so that's it it's all wired um, I'm going to trim this up and glue some things together. I'm not going to do that yet. I, I want to test it out make sure everything works good uh, and then I'm going to do some staining and, and get everything to look nice. So uh, the next video you will see it complete. So as always guys if you enjoyed these videos give it a thumbs up that way I can make some more and, uh, and as always share it with other people if you have enjoyed it. Thanks have a great day.